Okay, here we go. In those days we were single And we lived them one by one Now we hardly see them They don't walk, they run But I got plenty left I've set my sight on Don't wait up beneath the light on I'll be home soon Cause I've been left for dead before But I still fight on Don't wait up I'll be home soon Hey everybody, good evening. I'm Jim Olson from Signature Sounds. Welcome to another and our final concert of our 25th anniversary live stream series uh, that we've been doing now since last October. Um, started in uh, late October with Ronnie Arbo and Daisy Mayhem. And it's been so great this winter on Thursday nights to spend time with Signature Sounds artists past and present. And we've got a great show for you tonight with Louise Taylor uh, coming right up. Um, this being the last show of our retrospective, I just want to say thank you for uh, A, tuning in and B, being so generous with the tip jar for all these shows, it means the world to us. It means the world to these artists who've uh, had to quit touring and um, are, you know, it's a tough time to be a, a, a touring musician these days. So we really appreciate your support in the tip jar. Now, uh, while tonight is the last night of our retrospective, I do want to let you know that next Thursday night, we've got a special show for you. Um, two new artists for Signature Sounds, both of them albums coming out in 2021, as we move into year 26, Rachel Bayman, wonderful artist from Nashville by way of Chicago, and Matthew Fowler, who uh, is also based in Colorado. And uh, they'll be joining us next Thursday night at eight o'clock. For tonight's show, I am so excited about this um, to have Louise Taylor with us tonight. Louise was one of the original Signature Sounds artists or the guinea pigs, as we like to call them. Uh, she put out her first album with Signature Sounds in 1996 when the company was just a year old. Great album called Ruby Shoes and put out five albums since. And uh, man, she moved to Hawaii a few years ago and we've kind of lost touch with her. So let's bring her to the screen and say hello to Louise Taylor. Hi. Hi, Jim. Hey, Louise. Nice to see you. <laughs> so nice to be here. Thank you. Excellent. Now, you're actually in Colorado now, right? I am, yeah. Now, whereabouts in Colorado? Oh, uh, an undisclosed location. All right. <laughs> Probably beautiful, though, right? It is up in the mountains. It's gorgeous. Nice. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you for doing this. It's so great to see you again. As I mentioned, you know, um, I don't recall exactly what year it was you moved to Hawaii. Uh, you, it was but, 2007 uh, I moved there. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, I, and I stayed a long time. I love <laughs> it there. <laughs> I love and Hawaii. So that, that makes tonight's show such a treat because, uh, you know, so many yeah. of us have not had a chance to see you perform in a long time. Yeah. And um, it, it's great. Um, let's, let's look back a little bit, Louise. Um, okay. As I mentioned, uh, so appreciative that you were one of our guinea pigs way back there uh, when we were trying to figure this whole thing out with your album Ruby Shoes in 1996, which was your second album. Right. Um, Produced tell me a little bit how you got into music. You grew up in Vermont, right? I did. I grew up in Vermont. And uh, when I was 12, I'm partially in Colorado, actually, when I was 12, uh, we moved to Colorado, and uh, I got my first guitar. My brother got it for me. Um, and it was just a good way for me to express myself. I didn't really even know what I was doing for the longest time, but I, was all, I started writing songs right away, probably because I was a little lazy as far as learning someone else's song. <laughs> and that, that began it. I'd always written like little short stories 
as a young child and been really interested in writing. So um, it just was another way for me to do it. And one of the things that really drew me to your music is you developed a really kind of unique guitar style. And, um, you know, it, it made for this great unique sound. And, and did you have a guitar mentor? Did you just kind of stumble onto that or? Yeah, I taught myself pretty much. Yeah, I took a couple lessons and then I taught myself. And yeah, the I just, I love drums. I love drumming. So the rhythmic style of my rhythm playing comes from that. And then later on, when I was in Hawaii, I actually took drums finally and found I wasn't very good at it. <laughs> 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 Requires a lot of effort. But I, I did work at it for several years and, you know, at least understand it more than I used to. And uh, But, yeah, I've always loved African rhythms, world music, um, soulful artists, Leon Russell and other artists like Bonnie Raid and... Uh, Neil Young, not not so uh, rhythmic, but great writer. Oh. Yeah, and and you fell into that and uh, made a series of great albums up there in Vermont, and then and then uh, left us for Hawaii. Tell me, tell us a little bit about the music scene in Hawaii. Did you, did you continue to perform when I you did. left the U.S. Well, yeah. when you left the mainland. Yeah, it's like leaving the U.S. kind of. <laughs> It is like its own world there. Um, it has its own music. Uh, Hawaiian music is prevalent, is most prevalent there. But um, And I, I did continue to write, and I teach. I teach voice, and so I was doing that the whole time I was there. Um, and I played with um, an Irish band, Celtic Waves, for several years. And then I had a trio with uh, two other really great friends and... Um, musicians, Mia Adams and Mark Ransom, called uh, House of Bamboo, and we played around a little bit. And uh, But it was just very much local. That, that's great. That's great. Yeah. That sounds like you branched out a little bit musically out there, which is awesome. Yeah, I did. I've always yeah. liked Irish music, and I toured in Ireland quite a bit, so that that's worked. Great. Yeah, that yeah. Sense um, When did you move to Colorado, Louise? Last year. Last year, have you, have you been making music since you, you got to Colorado? Is you, you kind of exploring the scene there? Yeah, well, it's COVID, so um, yeah, no. right. but yes, <laughs> I've been uh, writing with a incredible uh, writing group, um, Underground Writers Exchange, um, that was put together by Bob Hillman and a few other great writers. There's 13 of us, and we meet weekly and write a song a week. And wow. so, and that we then play them for each other over Zoom. And we're about to come out with our own, with a little CD of our, one each of our songs. That's, That's April awesome. 13th, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Very well, funny. I have to say, Louise, um, you know, you are such a favorite at Signature Sounds uh, amongst the staff and amongst the artists. You know, as part of this, this, this uh, 25th anniversary live stream series we've been doing, featuring an artist a week, Mm -hmm. for the last 20 something weeks amazing um we ask we ask each artist who plays the series to name five favorite signature sounds albums and i think you made the list more than any other artist it's it's pretty really? incredible so really um, wow that's great to know <laughs> <laughs> got a lot of fans in our family and it's it's so great uh, to have this opportunity to hear you play again so want to get to it i do i do right Louise Taylor here this evening. Thank you, Jim. Enjoy. So as said, I have been writing a lot of songs and uh, wrote this one in Hawaii. Um, I s spent a lot of time uh, swimming. That was my favorite thing to do there and why I love Hawaii so much. One of the reasons, um, incredible temperate climate. And uh, I would head off early to swim, early in the morning. And if I was there early enough, I would catch uh, this woman, Anne, who was in her 80s, 
and still is, swimming every morning. And she likes to swim pretty far out, which makes me really nervous. So <laughs> I'm a kind of a chicken. But I would occasionally go with her. And uh, this song is about being in the water and talking. So it's, too, it's just the image of heads because you don't see your body below the surface. to see one head says I think I feel the land beneath our feet the land beneath our feet two heads floating in the water one head says we are here to take care of Take care of each other What it says It's time to swim in The other head says If you're too tired to swim Just tread water In the blue, one head says, between the sky and the earth, just you, only you. One head says, it's time to swim in, the other head says, if you're too tired to swim. off. Mm. Well, uh, we've had a big event in Boulder recently, and uh, this song actually comes from a couple years ago where uh, there were, there was a tornado that hit Ohio, uh, and then a guy drove down to El Paso, Texas, uh, to Walmart. And then uh, I finished this, this song this year uh, with, with uh, COVID happening. So it's, it, uh, I've changed some of the endings to uh, different endings. Silver sky, the rumble of trains, twisters, swirls across the prairie. Mother on pins her laundry in the rain. Lost the barn, but she's still standing. A salvation of swords, a reclamation. Deliverance from worldly goods A sinner's prayer answered from above Or just some kind of good, bad luck Young man driving south to El Paso Here's answer his 
his artillery Reaching for something he lost control Flipped his car, switching destinies A salvation of sorts, a reparation Deliverance from earthly love A sinner's prayer answered from above Or just some kind of good, bad love Where we're going, what we're doing Down here underneath the stars Looking up for some kind of answer Have we found any so far? In the forest the songbirds wake Rain falls gently on water We all crawl out from our hiding place The new world survivors A salvation of sorts A resurrection Deliverance of from the way it was A sinner's prayer answered From above Or just some kind Just some kind Just some kind Of good, bad luck <laughs> Thank you. I can't hear you, but I know you're there. So many people wrote to me and said you'd be watching, and I so appreciate it. All the love. I've been working on this uh, little tiny home, not so tiny, 1951 Spartan trailer. And that takes up uh, most of my days, that and than just uh, being here with family. Summer is finally over Hot nights kicking off the cover The ceiling fan, the cool of her a little rain could change anything They say there's a fifth season here Where your senses wither and disappear Into the dry and dying atmosphere While you're swallowing water the rain not at all strange weather strange weather My on still standing alone Firemen yelling through the megaphone Spitting in the wind blows it home Your fragile dangerous nature I watched it all burning down With my eyes closed covering ground the house of priceless things I've found And love are gone Whoa, we fall Like 
It is strange, the silence. <laughs> ah. hmm, my mother, uh, mother's name is, was Mary, and uh, she's just a beautiful, a lovely being, a kind person. And she used to like to uh, swim around where we were in the summers, which was Maine or Cape Cod nice ice cold water and like little ducklings we'd trot along after her uh, I'll just tune this a little bit here
Thank you. <laughs> Having a little uh, guitar issue here. Lots of buzz, but uh, hopefully it sounds okay out there for you. Uh, as an artist, uh, I think a lot of us artists go through uh, wondering whether we should continue or not. And um, what I eventually realized is that that's who you are, and so you, that's all you can really uh, do. And so why fight it? Might as well just do it. And this song's uh, called The Painter. Late or early, depending on when you rise or sleep it was dark but I could see your eyes you said there is no way but I could see the path clearly had you said You'd forgot what you'd sought, real or not, that might be true, that might be true. storm took the banks below the cliffs the beach was torn wide open you said you've given up but I could feel the heat in your touch the barricade the sudden drop the wings you'd brought real or not that might be true but not for you not for you You held the brush and touched the canvas with your cautious eye and your slender fingers working. You said they've tossed the wheel, abandoned now that man thinks to feel and if color is lost lost to thought real or not that might be true that could be true but not for you <sighs> Thank you. Hmm. off all your hair
Red curls on the floor Laughing in the barber's chair We all knew You'd never ride slack Or turn in empty or cracked You'd toss it back with a head full of will When you left the gates wide open Wild horses scattering Free and unbroken In the dust we knew You'd never be tamed Or hat in hand Walking home lame down in Houston Lariat, Lariat Lasso the world Place your bets, place your bets In the spinning circle When you stood up in the saddle Whooping and hollering Rounding up the lost cattle Galloping fears Across the open range Us Rattling small change Running hard Behind you When you called In the middle of the night Stumbling high on something We didn't recognize Whatever storm or weather was hidden hard down in Houston. Lariat, Lariat, lasso the world. Place your bets, place your bets in the spending sir. So the world Place your bets Place your bets In the spinning circle This is, uh, I'm getting, I'm settling in, <laughs> getting used to it. Um, I'm a real uh, yard sailor, now Facebook marketplacer, uh, recycling of older things like my someday home trailer. And uh, gone through big life changes. And this is for all of you who have done the same, gone through life changes. If you see anything here of value, or you. 
Take what you want, give the rest away. Old armchair on the street corner, someone may find a new home for you. Lately, I see people like me blowing away on a star. You may not know where you will go day to day from where you are. Dust it up with a breath Shaking in the sun Rubbed and polished Till it shines again Think about it Dream about it Where it went Like a doll is spent Lately I see like me hung out to dry in the wind You may not know where you will go day to day from where you've been Here's a warm coat, I think you'll need it, buttoned up with a scarf. A rolling stone still loves a river, till it's smooth and tired. We'll carry you down the gravel driveway, trashman comes around every blue. like me floating alone on a cloud you may not know where you will go day to day till you come down Try the other guitar. <clears throat> I'm just going to put it here and maybe have to ditch because string buzz. Thank you. Um, let's try it. my sister's guitar. We'll see how it goes here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is not easy either. <laughs> this is, sounds a little cleaner though. Say hello to Bernadette. No, she hasn't forgiven me yet. Her intelligence, her scorpion wet, could find a victim in me still. Words I might regret, never leave this kitchen stool. Where the sun warms my coffee Where we used to talk it through Give my love to Bernadette I wish there was a way All that anger in a French twist Underneath the wool beret The wrinkle in her forehead Lining up my misdemeanors Before all the lines went dead Crossing the distance between us Say a prayer for Bernadette, the orphanage of holy sisters. Burning history, the ash still wet, that sacred song we used to whisper. Little kindnesses you don't forget, have slipped my memory. Now I wonder, looking back, how few, how many, give my condolence to Bernadette, the doctors and the cures, her heart that just needs rest, and all the tests it must endure. These parts that have no meaning Underneath the microscope Once tender, young, and bleeding Every word she ever wrote Say farewell to Bernadette her blessings and her silhouette Packing up her pickup truck Finding love and driving west The things that keep you up at night Eventually you must ignore if there's no forgiveness left That's what you say forgiveness for Say goodbye to Bernadette I doubt I ever knew her well That's the steam of someone else's breath Icing up my winter window I always fear my strength Her vessel so very fragile With ice and glass and strangers You can never be too careful Say goodbye to Bernadette Say goodbye to
Well, I think this is slightly better than the other guitar, don't you? Um, <clears throat> The guitar worked beautifully until <laughs> I changed the strings, and I don't know what I did wrong. I, I've been trying to kind of boost the bridge a little bit, and um, it just didn't work, so that's life. This song was requested by Alice and possibly Teresa, if you're watching. It's an older song. This is from uh, my CD, Tangerine, which signature helped me out with at the last uh, hour, got it out to people, and got the artwork done. I just, Signature's been very kind to me over the years and uh, stuck with me for a very long time. And so I really appreciate uh, all they've given. She walked five miles, she walked five miles more Her little baby's in her arms Her little children holding on Her little baby's in her arms She walked five
Thank you. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Um, do this one. When I was uh, probably five years old, I uh, had a, a cute little canary, yellow with um, black stripes, named Tiger Teapot, Joy Song Taylor. And uh, we used to put Tiger out on this. We had a beautiful uh, screened porch, full length of the house uh, in Vermont on Meadowbrook Road, and uh, we used to put Tiger out there for the morning uh, singing exercises, you know, just a crazy singing bird. And uh, one day, um, Tiger died, and my dad came in and sat on my bed and um, told me, and I was just a super sensitive child, just, you know, I would bury any animal I found on the side of the road in Quaker Oats boxes and just, you know, have this massive ceremony. And um, so he, he knew that I would like a ceremony. And so he uh, told me the story of, of uh, what he did with the bird, which was to carry it down to the stream in his hands and put it on a leaf and float it downriver uh, I think he made that up, but <clears throat> it did give me comfort.
Um, I'm just going to do a couple more songs, and um, <clears throat> this next song is uh, the song that um, I recorded for the compilation that's going to come out.
Well, I have here a special guest with me. Are you up for it? Sure. <laughs> so it's in detuning. I want to tune it back up? Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, it's Ray Bonneville, who is my first visitor since the pandemic. And uh, he is someone who has greatly influenced my uh, musical, especially finger style playing. Um, just someone I admire immensely who has uh, millions of Spotify plays on his songs, which is uh, very exciting. <laughs> Okay, you're on your own for the rest of it here. I think it's close. Um, and I'll move this. Scoot on in. All right. All righty. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Nice to see you guys. get it tuned. Oh. Go ahead, give us a groove here. Why don't you play a song, actually? If you got one. <laughs> I've already started this one. <laughs> it's called the tuning song. <laughs> in a row between you and I a new wind started blowing took me by surprise I asked the passerby am I going the right way I got something in my eye I can't see clear today The butterfly in the wind Don't know how fragile his wings are He don't know Love is a lot like him now Fragile just like him If I was standing up on high ground Waving my hands and calling all around Would you hear me? Would you say my name? Two bands between on that road today The butterfly and the wind Don't know how fragile his wings are He don't know Love is a lot like him now Fragile just like him
things are better Paul left and say Darling, I got something rolling around my head I would tell you if you really, really want to know It's just that I never needed anybody Well, thank you, everybody, so much. Um, I'll attempt this again sometime soon. I'll get this guitar working great. This is a fantastic guitar <coughs> normally. And um, just had a little trouble tonight. But that's OK. Um, I had a blast. I love signature sounds. I love all of you. I'm so glad to be playing music again after a 14-year taking a break from my own stuff. And uh, so we'll see each other again soon, I hope. Thank you. <laughs>